Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be setting up a simple regenerating health system. So if you take a quick look in my viewport there, when I actually lost some of the player's health for a second, what you'll see is it starts to regenerate slowly over time and that's going to be exactly what we're going to be creating. Now I'm going to be going over all the blueprints um, to set this up and all of the logic that we use to set this up and most importantly I'm also going to show you how how to control some of the settings to make this regenerate slower, faster and just just play around with it and make it the way that you want it to be. So before I do go ahead and create it, I'm going to go over a quick overview of exactly how I've done that. And all of this is inside of the side scroller character. Now by all means, this isn't the most efficient way to do it, but it's by far the most simple way of doing things. So what I'm doing is I'm using an event tick node here to with a delay to pretty much fire off this event every couple of seconds or every 0.2 seconds. Because if we use tick, it's simply going to fire off every single frame every time. And if people are running the game at 60 frames per second, it's not all that efficient and we just don't want it to regenerate that fast. So what I've done here is I've used this duration of 0.2 to control how quickly the health is going to regenerate. From here, I'm just doing some basic conditioning to check to see whether or not the player's health is in range. So it doesn't go over the max health and it doesn't go and regenerate it if the player is already dead and then from there all we're doing is just changing the player health value to add a little bit of extra health on top of that it's really simple now if you guys have been following along with the system that we've got in place already for health it should all work exactly as it is and as usual it's just going to link up into the heads up display so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so i'm going to quickly delete all of this stuff here that i've created you won't have this as of right now and then making sure I'm in the side scroller character, we can get started. Just go into the content browser and open that up. Once you have done that, let's find some space for us to work with. And then from there, go ahead and right click and create a event tick node. And from here, because like I said, we don't want it to tick every second, every not every second, but every frame, we're gonna add on a delay onto this. And this delay, you can change this so you can, if you want it to regenerate quite slow, you can increase the value. It's entirely up to you, but we will go ahead and play around with that later on. I'll just leave it at 0.2 for now. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to begin running that check to see whether or not the player's health is in range, because we don't want to add health if the player's already got the maximum value. And also, like I said earlier, we don't want to add health if the player is already dead or they're out of health. So the way we're going to do this is by checking to see whether or not the float is in range. So I'm going to add this little in range node here and the way this is going to work is it's going to check to see whether or not it's between two values and if you remember being a float our health value actually goes from zero to one so the minimum and the maximum we need to change here now the maximum value for us is because we don't want to take it over one health is going to be for us is going to be 0 0.99 and then the minimum is going to be 0 0.01 and then the value for that is going to be player health so i'm going to get a value to get a reference to that and i'm just going to hook it up just like that once i've done that i'm going to leave the rest just how it is for now and then if it's true we are going to tell it to set the player health so we're going to go ahead and set player health and then from there, it's quite simple. All we're going to do is float plus float. And then we're going to get another reference to player health. And then from here, we are going to just define how much health we want to give the player each time this whole sequence goes off. So if you want it to be nice and slow, you know, you would add little increments of say something like 0 0.01. And then you would leave this leave that one unchecked there because we just put a value in but that's fine. So that is pretty much everything that we need for our little system. One other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add on a print string just to check to see whether or not it's added health. So I'm going to simply type in there added health because what I don't want is for us to have to add on health after the player's got the maximum health. We want to know whether or not it's running and we need to know when it's not running just so we can see if it's all working. Once that's all set up, I'm simply going to compile it 
Once that's done, I'm going to jump into my game, going to let this little guy take away some of my health, and you can see it's slowly regenerating there, which is quite nice. Now, like I said, you can control the speed and the increment of health that it's going to add using this system. So for me, I think it's a little bit too fast at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the duration from 0.2 all the way up to 0.5. And this is pretty much going to double the rate at which it increases its health. I do, however, like the tiny little increments. It makes it a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to keep that how it is. However, if I was to set this to something like 0.1, it would be adding 10% health every 0.5 seconds. So let me go ahead and show you that. So it takes away that health and you're getting those big chunks there and it doesn't look great. So I'm gonna make sure I leave this down to 0.01, compile it and let's check it out and see how this looks. So you can see now it's regenerating really slowly and it's really nice. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it once again. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.